American Ultra stars Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart, and once again, I apologize for the lateness of this review. I was at Chicago Wizard Con over the weekend, so I had to catch up on a lot of reviews. I also apologize for the eventual briefness of this video because I have like three more reviews to film, and I'm just trying to get this review out there because I've gotten a lot of requests to talk about this movie. Jesse Eisenberg is a loner stoner who works at a convenience store, and he draws comic book characters for fun, and once Jesse Eisenberg is confronted by two government officials in a parking lot, he suddenly realizes he has some very hidden skills he did not know he had. And from there on in, we have a comical cat and mouse game between Topher Grace, who's trying to bring in Jesse Eisenberg, and Kristen Stewart, who's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Everything about American Ultra is totally audacious. The visuals are outrageous. But it's the editing style and the way the film is shot that really stood out to me. American Ultra, I had a lot of fun with, despite the fact that there are some messy elements to its storytelling. I like the fact that this film embraced the fact that it was almost purposefully messy. I can't really see some of the things happening in this movie as being a mistake because there's so much insanity constantly in this film, and I really like the fact that they embraced it. They went for it. And I thought Eisenberg was very convincing as someone who suddenly discovers that he is Liam Neeson, essentially, in Taken, and he did a great job. And I gotta say, Kristen Stewart really surprised me in this movie. This is one of the best performances I've seen from her. I thought she really handled the shock, the horror, the romance, and the comedy aspect of this movie extremely well, because it really is a great mesh of a lot of different genres. It's also a strangely romantic movie, which really surprised me, and I like the way the action was directed. In regards to some of the more messy elements of the storytelling, those government scenes where we see Topher Grace giving orders to a whole bunch of people, and eventually Bill Pullman is involved as well, those scenes sometimes felt like a different movie. And in some ways, those scenes are a bit sarcastic and sometimes satirical, but they don't always mesh with the rest of the movie. Despite the fact that they were really trying, it didn't always fit in with the rest of the storyline. But whenever we were with Eisenberg and Stewart, I was honestly riveted with American Ultra. I had a great time with this movie. Some of the aspects of the storytelling are not very cohesive, but overall, I had a good time with this movie, and I would recommend checking it out at a matinee price if you can. I'm gonna give American Ultra a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching and putting up with the fact that I had these reviews out kind of late. I also want to let you know that my promotion with Crunchyroll.com is still going on. If you go to Crunchyroll.com slash Chris Stuckman, you can get a month of Crunchyroll service for free. It's an anime streaming service that allows you to have access to tons of great anime. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of anime. Premium service has no ads. It's in HD. You get stuff straight from Japan very quickly. I love it. Go to Crunchyroll.com slash Chris Stuckman and you can get 30 days for free. That's on me. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>